Commissioner Kaburagi? You look better than I thought you would. How'd it feel being on the other side of an interrogation for once? <laughs> I managed to pull through. Guess I'm getting a little old for this, huh? More importantly, though, I heard something interesting from the Nijima lawyer. She told me the reason she was able to get me out was because she had help from a certain someone. I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Anyhow, do you have business with me? Commissioner, I'd like you to help me. I'm going to arrest Awada. He's been behind the scenes with each and every change of heart case. Akira Konoe is the one who commits the crimes, while Awada sits back and capitalizes on them. They plan to cover up the truth by putting all the blame on the Phantom Thieves. I think they've even changed the hearts of some of us on the Force. And I'm talking pretty high up the chain of command. Hmm. If we don't act now, we'll never be able to stop them. Please, Commissioner. I can't do this without you. Do you have any evidence to bring Awada in? I'm on the verge of getting Konoe to confess. If we do that, we can expose all of Awada's crimes. You really think Kanoe will talk? He'll crack. I know he will. How can you be so sure? Are you planning to use the Phantom Thieves to change his heart? Sorry, but... I just can't tell you. Commissioner Kaburagi, do you remember what you said to me back when Aoi died? You told me you would cleanse this whole rotten organization someday. And that I just had to wait for the right time. That time is now. Please. I need your help. <laughs> You've changed, Hasegawa. Your little stunt cost me my chance at Senior Commissioner. Even my current title is in a state of uncertainty. I need to do something to restore my credibility. If I wanted to, I could serve all of you up to Awada on a silver platter, and he'd owe me everything for it. Did that ever occur to you? <laughs> your sense of justice would never allow it. <laughs> my, my. You have three days. If you say you can do it, then by all means, make it happen. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. And I'll give back your badge as well. Uh, are you sure? Fair warning. If you screw this up, I'll be covering my own safety above all else. No second chances. Do you hear me? I won't forget this, Commissioner. Shall I follow him, ma'am? Forget it. He'll just throw you off. Actually, I have a more pressing task for you. I want you to find out everything you can about the Commissioner General. The... Commissioner General, ma'am? I'm not one to pull punches. Never have been, never will be. So, you're sure the Phantom Thieves have been dealt with, yes? Mm, something tells me Akira is not going to give a good answer to this. Yes, they're being held in the jail as we speak. I've got Emma keeping an eye on them. Yeah, this idiot doesn't know what he's talking about. Well done, Mr. Kanoe. There really is nothing that can stand up to you in that AI of yours. Please. None of this would have been possible without your assistance, sir. Emma will show us the way forward. Now, I may be getting a little ahead of myself, but what say we have a celebration of sorts? I'll go ahead and reserve us someplace nice. I think you're in for a real treat. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Till then. Calm ended. Filth. Flapping those fat jowls of his. Fat jowls? Who says jowls? Roaches like him are the very reason why this world needs someone to enact justice. You are absolutely right, Akira. We'll have to hurry with making Operation Oraculi a reality. More importantly, how are things in the Kyoto jail? No issues to report. The Phantom Thieves are still under confinement. Mmm, Emma's lying to Kanoe. This is a really interesting part of the story, to be honest, because, like, we know Emma is lying, but Akira doesn't. But how the heck is the AI lying? Very well. 
And uh, just so we're clear, there's no way to change their hearts. Is that correct? That is correct, Akira. It is impossible. Well, if you say so, it must be. We'll just have to let them rot, won't we? Now, to wrap this up. At this point, nothing can stand in my way. I'll take over this entire country. No, the whole world. Yo, is it Saturday? It's the weekend, baby! Let's go mini golfing. So, I heard you guys were waiting for me to get back. You guys are surprisingly particular, you know? It's the first calling card we're sending out since you joined. Figured you'd want to be there for it. Well, it's not like I haven't helped out with one already. It doesn't seem like that big a deal. That's why we have a little proposal for you. Why don't you write this one, Sunkichi-san? Uh, me? But I've never written one before. First time for everything. Yes, we should all be more open to new experiences. All right, that takes care of the calling card. Now we just gotta figure out how to send it. Hey, I didn't agree to anything. He's so comfortable bad-mouthing us on TV. Maybe it's time we gave him a taste of his own medicine. Copy the enemy's strats? <sighs> How about an online broadcast? <sighs> we need more impact. Could we just hand-deliver it, maybe? If we want to get arrested, yeah. What do you think? So we're all missing something. I actually do not remember how this calling card plays out. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not sensing a clear winner here. Hey guys, check it out. Is that a blimp? Oh, right. A blimp. Oh, you don't see them very often nowadays. That's the Reagan Mogan. It's the only airship in Japan that's currently in service. It seems it's being used to advertise Emma for Medis at the moment. For Medis? Apparently, it circles Osaka's airspace every day. Hmm, every day? You thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Way ahead of me. Bond! All right! We're finally at the end. This will most likely be the last calling card we ever send. Yeah, until we need another spin-off game, though. As always, once we set the calling card, we'll be putting the plan into motion. There's also a good chance we'll be going up against Kanoe. Let's make sure we're fully prepared, then we'll send out the calling card. This is the request. Still not gonna do Hound of Hades until after the Kanoe boss fight. Spend some money. What are you looking for today? Buy items. Forty HP to all allies seems decent. How many would you like Pork. you face the bench? How many would you like you face the bench? Yep. How many would you take some more of these? And then we, of course, this seems worthwhile. We, of course, always need to buy the res items. Most important thing. I continue to buy soulful jelly that I should be using more. Don't need that. Carrot. I need that for more crab hot pot. Tofu. Whoops. Crab. All right. Uh, do I have stuff to sell? Actually, this should be helpful. I do. Sure? All right, a little bit of money. Honestly, I think we just like we just go do it, right? Pretty sure. If I remember, oh, I have bond to spend. Hmm. <sighs> bond. We are about to unlock whatever this is. I might actually want to wait for whatever this is. But also, I could get some stat ups before we fight Kanoe. You know what? Give me, give me skill and magic damage, both level four. That's that's worth it to me. And then when we get more bond level ups, we'll do whatever this is, probably, because I assume it's probably all out attacks or something similar. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down with that. 
All right, well, chat, listen to this dang old calling card. Yes. We must prepare a suitable calling card. Have you thought of what to write, Zinkichi? That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Man, don't blame me if this sounds weird. Just remember you asked for this, okay? After all that crap you put Akane through, we gotta make this count. Put him on blast. Delivering the calling card is just the beginning. We're counting on you to help us finish the job, Zinkichi. Yeah, I'll bet. You guys are real slave drivers, you know that? Later that night, Some kind of card? Wait, that's... Phantom Thieves? Is that actually real? It's written in Japanese. There's no way to read it. I don't speak weeb. I wish I did. Testing! One, two, one, two. Okay, looks like we're live. So, I just talk into this? You're on, man. Just say it. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Are you listening, Kunoe? Toy with innocent lives, slandering us. You've been busy, but so have we. Now it's payback time. Ready or not, here we come! To the villain who thinks he's a hero, Akira Kunoe. You stole the desires of countless people. And tonight, we're baking them, uh, I mean, taking them. Oh, you had one line! I meant to say that, baking them, you know, like in the moment. Seriously? It's a practice. Oh, Ryuji. The Phantom Thieves. Impossible! To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Kanoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. Oh my goodness, Zinkichi, you're so bad at this. But also, like, you ever wonder how they get so many, like, stock cards with the Phantom Thieves stuff on them? Like, there's definitely gotta be a paper trail where, like, someone ordered all those stock cards and they were like, oh, are you, like, are you the Phantom Thieves? And then they, they should have just been caught and put in prison at that point. Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and shifting the blame for the murder of one of his employees. On top of that, Party A is also guilty of wrongfully imprisoning a group of minors. Therefore, in addition to putting out a formal warrant of arrest for Party A's crimes, tonight, the Phantom Thieves will commit some larceny of their own and take back every desire you've stolen? Zenkichi cannot be allowed to write calling cards anymore. Is this some kind of joke? Emma, what the hell is going on? I, I thought we'd trapped them in the jail. Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Don't give me that, Emma! I'm your master! Now answer me, damn it! Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Unable to answer. God damn it! Language! You think you can change my heart? You wretched little urchins! I won't be defeated so easily. Taking back the desires. You think you can steal from me? Fools! I am the very hero these people have been praying for. The Phantom Thieves are the evil that stands in the way of that. Come then, let's see who changes who. Shadow Kanoe looks sick. Kanoe's probably losing it right about now. Dispensing the calling cards from the enemy's own airship. What a truly impeccable strategy. How much you want to bet the police are already all over that thing? Aw, won't it be sad when they find out we were broadcasting from a remote location? Nice job, Mona and Zenkichi. Sheesh, that was some contraption you put together. You did good too, Sophia. All I did was search the web for a blueprint we could use. Was it okay for us to leave it on the airship, though? Nah, I built it using a bunch of junk parts you can find just about anywhere. We're in the clear. Word has certainly reached Kanoe by now. Yeah, but that calling card. Couldn't have added a little more spice there, Gramps? To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Kunoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and... Party A? It's an arrest warrant. Is there a problem? 
It's supposed to be a calling card. What the hell is this party A crap? Oh, shut up. Real big talk come from the guy who screwed up his line. What? Look, I told you I didn't screw up. We're baking them. <laughs> it was very Zenkichi. You're right. It's very much Zenkichi san's style. I thought it was different. Fine, whatever. If things go well, hopefully this will be the last one. The last calling card. Oh, kind of sad when you think about it. Hey, this fight's just getting started. All right, here we go. Time for the big finish. Bond. Hacker voice, we're in again. If I remember right, I believe this boss is weak to lightning and nuke. So we definitely want Ryuji and Makoto, even though Makoto is higher level, I'm realizing now, but whatever. Um, then we should probably bring on for... You have, like, Dairahan, right? Or Diorama, at least? Yeah, so you're just gonna be a Diorama machine on. But that's fine, because I don't want to bring the cat, because I think Kanoe also uses lightning, if I'm not mistaken. And Zenkichi won't do much. I guess I could bring Sophie, but I don't like playing as Sophie. I'd rather play as on, if anything. We could throw out some Agadines. I don't think he resists fire. We'll see. Who got a new skill? You did. It's not Zyodine. Oh, you got Deathbound. Severe physical damage to a wide area of foes with medium crit chance. These seem like the same move. Deathbound costs more, though, so it must be better. <laughs> they had, like, the exact same description. Alright. Take me to the top! Everybody ready? So this is the final battle. Let's change Kanoe's heart and put an end to this. Yeah, let's give it everything we've got. Alright, what's next? Out. Yeah. Bow, bow. Dun, dun. Dude, life will change is so good. What a bop. Well, well, well. Right, let's get moving. Okay, the lock opened just like we thought. Now to make our way up on those chains. <laughs> 